hello and welcome so let's look one more question from sample paper of data science and artificial intelligence so far i have solved uh, many problems from this sample paper that you can go through so there uh, in playlist section you will find a separate playlist where i am solving all these sample paper question and I have solved a lot of questions from this sample paper so uh, you can refer that okay today what we are going to look at is question number 42 right so this question is from unsupervised learning right and in unsupervised learning this is this question is from the k-mean right so this is uh yeah this is based on the clustering algorithm so uh so if you have already known uh, or or if you have knowledge about the uh k-mean unsupervised that is unsupervised learning then then uh if you know that how that k-mean algorithm works then then it would be easy to solve this question okay let's look at this question what question is asking that given a data set so we have given this data set right so this these are the coordinates of the data set right so in the unsupervised learning so you will have to make the or particularly in k-mean what we try to do is we try to uh, we try to make the clusters of the uh, similar kind of data set, right so that you have, you will have to look into the theory so right now i'm solving this question so we have this uh data set and what we have given is the three centroids so in theory if you have already learned then you there you have heard about this uh that centroid is that uh mu one or here we have uh notation that c1 that c1 c2 c3 the three centroid we have given right so uh generally uh how we uh, generally we pick the random centroid right uh, and it is preferable or recommended to to pick the uh, random to pick the first uh, centroid to pick the first k centroid uh, on the data point itself so it is the recommendation so instead of picking a ra uh, random uh, uh, centroid what we what we do is pick the centroid from the given data set itself so if you look at this centroid c1 c2 c3 so these are all on the in the data set right so these are the centroids uh, one iteration of expectation maximization maximization algorithm of k mean clustering will update c3 to aa the value of aa is so so if if you know about the k-mean clustering what we so we have the two steps so uh, in first step what we do is uh, we find the uh, distance of each a distance from each centroid to each training example so we have here uh, one two three four five six seven eight training examples and at the initial point we have given this three centroids so v one two three so uh, what we try to do is with the given initial centroid let's suppose let's call this c1 so what we try to do we try to find the distance of mu1 so let's suppose uh, that uh, that this one one is here so maybe here and this uh, c1 is uh, maybe three three so it is uh, maybe uh, here right so this is the uh, c1 so what we will do that we will find the this distance right so this dis distance so here i have found only with only one data point but what we will do we will find the distance of each uh, training example from this particular c1 centroid similarly what we will do we will do the same with this c2 and with this c3 so overall point is what 
at the first stage what uh, we are going to do is we are going to pick a centroid and we are going to calculate all the distances from that particular centroid and again we will pick the second centroid and again we will uh, we will uh, calculate the all the distances from these uh, train example and that again we will pick the third centroid again we will calculate all the uh, distances from this uh, third centroid so so at the end once we once we have all these distances now i can say that that if if for this particular example i have calculated the uh, distance from c1 and similarly i will calculate the distance from c2 and similarly i will calculate the distance from c3 right so these are the distances from c1 and maybe this is from c3 right so whatever the distance is near for this particular uh, example then we will assign we will assign that that this is in cluster of c1 so this point is in the cluster of c1 because it is the near to this c1 right so similarly you you so far we have already calculated all these points right all these distances for c1 c2 c3 for all these data points so whatever what i did for this particular first example you will have to do from all these examples so at the end you will get to know that that at the first iteration uh, all these points are going to assign to c1 or c2 or c3 right based on the distance right once you have that that is the first step in the k-min algorithm and the next step we, we have two steps there and the next step is that uh, in the second step what we do is whatever uh, that uh, c1 c2 c3 uh, so suppose let's suppose that this this example have got the c1 that uh, in c1 cluster and this one has got in maybe c1 cluster and this one has got in c1 cluster so now in next second step what we will do so in next step we will find the we will move the or we will update the centroid so the initially the centroid was 3 comma 3 at the location of 3 comma 3 now in second step since we know that these clusters these points are in the c1 cluster now in second step what we will do we will try to update this c1 new and how we will how we are going to update this by taking the mean of these uh, point right so so x coordinate will be 1 plus uh, 5 plus 0 divided by 3 and y coordinate will be 1 plus uh, 1 plus 5 plus uh, 3 divided by 3 so that will give you a c1 new and your centroid that c1 will move to uh, this c1 new position so this is the complete algorithm that if you have already gone through the k-min then you have you should have knowledge about this right so i just gave an overview now more detail you will read in the theories right look okay let's let's jump to the problem so i should not explain all these thing because these are the part of the theory but but uh, just to give you a reference uh, i am explaining this right so otherwise uh, it is taking time but no worries uh, you can skip that part and you can directly come to the solution part also okay let's let's look at this question so i am going to following that one only so first of all what i am going to do i am going to let's suppose uh, i am going to calculate the distances of each uh, data point from this c1 right so let's suppose so we are going to do for c1 and also for c2 and for c3 so calculate this distance so 3 minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 so 2 square plus 2 square and not do not worry about the exact distance you can take the um, square of the distance that you can put here so 3 minus 1 that is 2 and plus 3 minus 1 that is 2 so 2 plus 2 that will be 4 so 4 right and let's calculate the distance between these two it will be 0 and let's calculate the distance between these two so it will be 2 right 
and between these two four plus four that will be eight so here okay okay i have made the mistake here let's calculate one more time so three minus one is two and two square is four plus four here it will be eight and zero and uh, Uh, 4 minus 3 that is 1 1 it here it will be 2 and this and this so here it will be again 8 and 3 square 9 plus 9 18 and 6 square that is 9 minus 3 and uh, 9 minus 3 that is 6 6 square is 36 times 2 so it will be 72 and 3 minus 0 9 plus 0 so it will be 9 and uh, 0 so, so it will be again 9 right so off from distances from all these points to this c1 now do the same thing for c2 also so 5 minus 1 that is 4 16 plus 16 that is 32 right and we will have 5 minus 3 that is 2 4 8 2 here we will have 5 minus 4 okay so here we will have 0 and uh, here we will have uh, 2 again and here we will have 4 that is 16 32 and here we will have um, 5 25 plus 4 29 right and 4 plus 25 29 now do the similar thing for uh, this c3 calculate all the distances so 6 minus 1 minus 1 5 5 50 i think right 6 minus 1 5 5 square is 25 plus 25 that is 50 and 6 minus 3 that is 3 and square is 9 and 18 and here we will have 4 plus 4 8 and here we will have 2 no i think 4 because 6 minus no 2 here we have 2 and here we have 0 and 9 minus 6 is 3 is square 9 and 18 right and here we will have 6 minus 0 36 plus uh, 9 that is 45 right again 6 minus 3 is square 9 plus 36 and here we will have 45 now now you will have to assign all these right so so ultimately what we have to find that uh, that for c c3 right so i i will look at this only c3 that uh, which point is in the cluster of this c3 right so i will look at this matrix and i will simply what i will do i will look at the minimum distance if c Three had got the minimum distance then that particular point will be in the cluster of c3 right so that that this is the minimum is 8 here so c3 will be not uh, so so this this first point will be not in not will be assigned to c3 right and here we will have the minimum 0 here we will have minimum 2 here we will have it is 2 right so this this will be assigned to uh, c3 cluster so uh, what's the point so one two three four so four one two three four so this five comma five will be assigned to c3 cluster right now now again this is zero the minimum of all these three points so this six comma six will be also assigned to uh, this c3 right and here we do not have the minimum is 18 okay i think i have made the mistake here because this is the third one right so six plus six uh 36 72 correct and 16 okay this is correct and here it should be nine minus three this one is also so, okay so what i am doing so this okay 
so here see if you see look at this 802 so this 0 is minimum right so this will be assigned to uh, uh, this C2 cluster so 1 2 3 4 so this 5 will be not assigned to this will be assigned to C2 not the C3 right and here we have so, so, so what will be assigned to C3 is this these two right because uh, this is minimum 0 is minimum in out of all three and here we have uh, 18 is minimum in out of all three otherwise here 9 is minimum here 9 is minimum and here 0 is minimum and here uh, 2 is minimum here 0 is minimum and here 8 is minimum so um, so this will be assigned to these two so one so this is the fourth point and this is the fifth point so one two no, this will be assigned to c2 right so these two will be assigned to c3 so fifth and sixth point so one two three four fifth so this point will be assigned to c3 and this point will be assigned to c3 right so this was the next is next uh, the the first step in the came in uh, algorithm and the second step is to move the uh, mean position move the centroid position so that c3 will be updated to its mean positions in the c3 cluster we have 6 comma 6 and 9 comma 9 right now this c3 that was earlier uh, 6 comma 6 right now it will get updated to new mean position and that new mean position will be 6 plus 9 divided by 2 comma 6 plus 9 divided by 2 and that will be 15 divided by 2 that will be 7.5 comma 7.5 so we have asked that what will be the value of this a so it will be 7.5 so this is the correct answer uh, for this question number 42 so the overall point is that if you know how k-mean algorithm works then this question is particularly from that algorithm that is all from for this question number 42 the correct answer is 7.5 okay thank you